Did you know the Commodore 64 sprites can be used as an oscilloscope? Well, in this very quick short demonstration, I'm going to be showing how the SID Voice Channel 3 waveform register can be used to help plot an oscilloscope waveform on the screen using a single Commodore 64 sprite. The first part of the code initializes the music routine, which is going to get used later on. The next part of the code initializes the display of a sprite. Now, this sprite contains like a single pixel. The rest of the code initializes the SID volume registers and then the voice registers. And then we get into the main part of the loop, which displays the sprite as an oscilloscope. It reads the raster position and stores this into the sprite Y position register. It also reads the voice 3 waveform output register, shifts it around a bit to divide it by 2, and then stores it in the sprite X position. We then have a once per frame piece of update logic which detects if the fire button is pressed and then changes between the different SID waveforms or starts playing music. So let's see what this code does when we actually run it in the debugger. Here we are in C64 debug GUI. You can see the waveform there in the top right hand corner, but if I move the raster beam tester up and down the screen, you can see how the sprite keeps on getting moved down so that it is visible. The sprite itself has a vertical single column of pixels, but when you move it left and right rapidly, the VIC displays those pixels at the measured waveform position. If I move to the full screen view, you can see the waveform more clearly now. This is using a triangle waveform with the frequency that is almost in sync with the vertical retrace of the screen. This is the noise waveform when I press fire. This is the square waveform or the pulse waveform. We don't get a horizontal line, and that's because the sprite instantly moves from the left to the right, and then back to the left again. The sawtooth waveform also shows doesn't show a horizontal line, and that again is because the sprite instantly moves from one side to the other. The triangle waveform shows the waveform quite nicely with SID, and then we can play the music, which was loaded into memory, and then the music voice 3 waveform can be shown by the sprite oscilloscope in inverted commas as well. And then we have the raster time used for the music routine displayed at the bottom of the screen. I can also update the code so that the single pixel used for the sprite oscilloscope with air quotes is now going to be a much wider, thicker line. So let's assemble that code and then rerun the demonstration in C64 debug GUI and we'll have a much thicker line now. It's a bit easier to see to be honest. Now those gaps in the sprite there are probably to do with just trying to update the sprite by position at the wrong time and due to bad lines it doesn't quite manage it. I'm not too worried about that. So we can see the noise waveform, the square pulse waveform, the sawtooth and then the triangle waveform and then the music waveform. So this is a very short technical demonstration on how to use Commodore 64 sprites as an oscilloscope and inverted commas. If you like these kind of quick technical videos then please do consider liking or subscribing to this channel and I hope to see you around next time. Have a great day wherever you are. I'll put this link in the video description below so you can actually see the code yourself and experiment with it. And apologies for the rain sound effect in the background. We have a very heavy storm here at the moment and the microphone is obviously picking that up.